name is Harry Minium, last name M-I-N-I-U-M. Uh, right now, I'm a senior executive writer at Old Dominion University. Uh, in 1982, I covered high school sports for the Virginian Pilot, and I worked at the Pilot for 39 years. It was such an amazing story that I think people in Virginia Beach and Chesapeake and you know, people all around Norfolk kind of wrapped. And we loved the football team and the pep rallies and just, just a great time supporting the team. And I just think that that needs to carry on. And I think remembering Hatchet would be um, a wonderful legacy for the school to carry on his memory. It's been over 30 years now that it would be good for the school to just remember that situation and remember his legacy for the football team. Remember, um, not... Not long before that, there was still a lot of separation and division. We had race riots at our school. But after that, things changed a lot. A lot of that just went out of the window, and we were able to um, come together in the ways that we hadn't done before. But I was so uh, heartbroken, and it, it was it was a tough pill to swallow. Um, to the point where I still didn't believe it until actually the day of his funeral. And it was, it became real to me. It became very real to me. Wow. Uh, as a whole, far as the school was concerned, Al was a big. I do remember him as, as, as a guy who was just uh, relentless. He, he had a tremendous work ethic. And every play for him was a, a challenge. He didn't he didn't sit out a play. He he ran all of his routes very hard. He blocked hard. He was just like all of his most of his teammates. He was just a hard nosed player, and he had some talent. And there were several trucks were just circling, circling, circling on buses um, so that we couldn't get off. And they were yelling uh, racial slurs and, you know, anything that you can think of that's totally inappropriate to say. Um, and so for me, um, that was a moment, a really, really defining moment for me. was just there. Um, Tony Grady, Kevin Johnson, uh, Gary Hamilton, Steve McArthur, Alfonso Wiggins, Robert Majet, uh, you know, Mike Borkins. The list goes on and on and on. That team, the 1982 Lake Taylor Titans, was very special. Steve McArthur was a, he was a guy that can go downfield and stretch the field. I think it was about the third play from scrimmage. And he came up the middle, and Jamie Noonan, the nose guy, hit him and took his legs out and broke his ankle. After that, they were all out. He did them like 31 to 7. They helped bring Norfolk together. You know, it, and we live in racially divided times now. Just think about how bad, you know, it was much more divided 40 years ago. And how could you not love these kids? It's just amazing what they did. And I, I think a lot of people wouldn't necessarily rally around an inner city football team, really thought a lot of these kids, and, and they deserved it. They were all good human beings, and most of them have. The other coaches patting them on the back like, it's going to be all right. And when he saw talking, he said, oh, I got to tell you something, guys. We had, we, had a, we, had, we had a big problem today. And we're like, what, what problem? That's what he told me. He said, uh, Albana Hatchet just got killed. He was in a car wreck and died in this bus stop. Oh, yeah, he played football. No, it won't none of that. That's the late television.
that's the late teller boy. You know, and every time we win a big game, they add something else to it. That, that, that's how I, I didn't want to sell, but that's how I knew that we did. I appreciate you. And, and um, I apologize for those of my age group that don't understand just how important this is. And uh, I won't say they'll regret it. You know, we're too old to regret anything, but it is very, very unfortunate. Thank you.